so today our topic is how to install hadoop on the mac os system so we are uh, installing hadoop on the mac os system using the homebrew which is uh, and the homebrew is a command line utility so first we need to update our command line utility homebrew so for that we need to uh, run a command which is called uh, home update homebrew and uh, it's not required if you uh, directly run brew install hadoop it will uh, it can automatically update our homebrew so first we will uh, run this command which is do install hadoop for installing our hadoop system and uh, yeah so here we can see brew update so we can run this command first and after that we can run this brew install hadoop and otherwise it will automatically update the homebrew system homebrew command line utility and here we can see that hadoop 3.3.0 is already installed in our system uh, and if you want to reinstall then you can run this command which is brew reinstall hadoop so i have already installed but uh, otherwise it will install it will download the hadoop in your system after that if you want to search for hadoop we, we can use the next query but before that in some mac os system we can uh, we can see some error which is look like uh, this x run active developer path so in this case you uh, sometime you need to update your command line utility and sometime uh, you need to uh, check your x code uh, x code which is in your system uh, and uh, if you don't have x code then you need to run this command x code uh, select install otherwise you need to update update your system your xcode and after that you can run this command brew install hadoop and it will get installed and then you can search using brew search hadoop so for uh, let me run this brew search hadoop so here it will require a password you need to set a password so and allow then you need to put that password here now it will take some so you can see here a hadoop and a green tick that means hadoop is downloaded in our system perfectly after that if you want to check the hadoop version version hadoop so you can see hadoop 3.3.0 now we need to go to the directory where hadoop is so for that you can copy this path because mostly in mac os system it is in the user local and then it has the hadoop now we are in hadoop and now we can ls ls is a command which we use to see what are the files in that directory has so here hadoop is our directory and it has some file uh, and we can see this file here so for configuring now we have downloaded our hadoop now we need to configure it and for configuring hadoop on our system we need to update to the environment variable settings for that we need to make changes in some files and the first is hadoop env.sh file then core file then hdfs file after that too, we need to make changes in mapred and yarn site.xml file now we need to open these files so first we will open the hadoop file hadoop env.sh file env.sh okay so i am opening the in this file on the vs code editor so for that i have written the code and here you can see hadoop env.sh and you need to add these two lines and first is java home and second is hadoop opts you need to add these two file uh, these two line here and then you need to save this file and we are done after that we need to update our second file which is core site.xml you can see the name here core site.xml let's copy paste and you can see core site.xml file and you need to put this uh, property part in the configuration which include name and value and we will save every file we are making change in next file which is 
HDFS file. Now there is HDFS file. HDFS site. Just a minute. HDFS site to dot XML. So it will open the HDFS file and we will add the property part in the configuration which include the name and value again and we need to save every file after making the changes now we need to update our next file uh, which is mapred site.xml mapred site.xml and uh, here we go mapred site.xml and we need to add uh, the property part here also here it has two property first for the framework uh, and here yarn is we will start our resource manager and node manager using yarn.sh command and it will add the yarn part here so after making change in mapred we need to update our yarn file yarn site.xml and here we have our yarn site.xml and we will open this file and the same as the previous files we need to update our property code which is this so you need to update this property part which include uh, the name and value we will put name and value then we have to save this file and we are done with this thing now we have made change in all the required file now no, sometimes we need to remove our passwords like if we directly run start all.sh then it will require the password so for removing that password uh, and it also can show some error sometimes so for that we need to remove our password requirement for that first we need to run these three commands uh, here we can it will ask for the password and later on we will format uh, format our hdfs name node which will remove the password requirement so you need to run these three these three commands after that you can format uh, your name node so that uh, there will be no password requirement which is and the command is hdfs name node format after removing the uh, password i have already removed the password requirement so now all I have to do is uh, run or run the Hadoop cluster. For running the Hadoop cluster, we need to go in the sbin file. So we will cd. Uh, uh, sorry. And let me go back to the directory. Now we need to ls. Okay. So we need to go to the this directory. In Hadoop, uh, if we ls, it will show you 3.3.0. And after that, in library.exec, you can see all the file after. Uh, okay. So we will go in this part. And now we are in sbin. We can run this command, which is start all.sh. It will start our name node, data node. Uh, resource manager and the node manager but we have to wait for some okay so all our nodes has been started here you can see starting name node on local host data node secondary name node after that uh, it has starting resource manager starting node manager and uh, now we can see all these nodes on our local host which is um, okay so we can see our name node on the local host 9870 yeah so here we can see the summary the overview and as you can see our hadoop is running perfectly fine and we can see the uh, all the application that are running this is our hadoop cluster which is running and we have only one active node here and in the 8088 uh, local host we can see all the um, like node part it it has a resource manager and node manager 
so yes now you can see uh, your hadoop is ready thank you